Okay, for the final part of this segment, uh, what the heck is inside of the clock spring and how does it work? I have a good idea what's inside of it, but uh, I was wanting to try to take it apart without destroying it, but they don't want you to be able to take them apart without destroying it, so uh, it's got uh, some fused places. I reckon if you want to, you could take and drill out the places where it's fused together. That little plastic welds. Oops, sorry. <laughs> little places that it's fused together. And uh, it's like little plastic welds and all. You can uh, drill them out. But uh, now I'm curious. I'm going to pop the rest of it apart. And uh, we'll see uh, just what... Uh, this what is inside there. Well, I tell you, I think that I'm going to... I thought that I was going to tear it apart. Be gentle about this, you could probably do it okay. Oh, heck, there ain't no dang. No, there ain't no way of fixing this crap. That's what was wrong with it right there. It uh, just broke slap across. But apparently, it has this, this wire coil that it just spins back and forth inside there. I have seen them where, um, the old timey steering wheels were right in there. They'll have these little copper fillers, and on, on the top, it will have little copper rings, and that way it pushes and spins around like that. But uh, but if you ever wonder what's inside your AC clock spring on your steering column, it's just a flat printed wire, which that explains why it quit working all of a sudden. Now, Paul, it's strange that um, everything stopped working at once. When the horn quit working, everything quit working. But I reckon over the years, it just like it got knotted up a little bit and just snapped it. All right, well, I'm going to let y'all go on uh, YouTube as usual. Uh, y'all have a good evening. Ravenwood out.